Morning everyone, welcome back to part two of the trip to Saskatchewan for Fen Ideal training. Like I said, the last time just had too much video footage to be able to get it all into one, so decided to split it into two parts. This was the section where we ended up driving to the northwest of Regina for probably three to four hours, and we were just looking for dust storms. We were looking for dust coming off the back of a combine. The The wind and the storm that was rolling in was uh, was blowing it up into the air and, and making it really visible to see where these machines were running. So we ended up finding probably 12 or 13 machines all within, I don't know, I guess it would have been 10 or 15 quarters of what they would call out there for their land. Everything from small old New Hollands all the way up to some brand new ones. So uh, we didn't find any... Uh, Kloss or uh, Fent combines, unfortunately, but uh, there were some deers, a couple cases, uh, lots of new hounds. Got a bunch of video footage of all those, so I'll share those with you here now. Uh, it was a really fun afternoon seeing it. Got to talk to some interesting people to uh, ask permission if we could videotape, and uh, yeah, it was a good afternoon until that rain hit, and that was pretty incredible too. So hope you enjoy the footage as much as we did taking it. So our little tour, we were. Uh southeast of Emerald Park, which is on the east side of Regina there. And, uh, one of the first machines we saw was TR-97. He was just a motor, and every time that straw hit the chopper, you'd hear that sound. And uh, he was basically going around in squares, and taking it as fast as he could with the storm coming. Everything on that combine would be manual. All of it. As we went down the road, the next thing we saw, they were doing some uh, road building there. So they had a, a Steiger 600 quad track with a big pan on it. Don't see that very often, so we thought that'd be kind of cool to see for a minute. And then we found through the dust, this was a uh, CX8080 walker machine with a 40 foot Macdon Draper on the front of it. He was just getting full, and just as we were about to leave, there was a transport truck coming down the road. There was no grain buggy or anything in this field with these guys. It was just him. Um, looks like a full quarter, so I think that's 400 and something acres. And uh, same thing, he was going around and around in circles, and the trucks were basically just sort of meeting along the headlands and, uh, and dumping where they needed to dump. Um, we came back later after seeing some of the other stuff, and he was uh, just packing up because of the rain. This was probably one of my favorites of the day. It was an old 1680 with a 25 foot head on the front of it. You can see off in the back, they had another 1680 and it had died a couple days before. They were having troubles with it, couldn't get parts, so they pulled this one up. This is their backup machine. So they were, uh, they were just finishing this little spot off. Uh, everything's manual on this. There's no auto steer, there's no header height, nothing. He was just driving away, spreading the straw. Um, it was an old uh, international tandem truck, you can see in the white there to the left of it that they were dumping into and taking those back with. And uh, as much as I'm an other colored specialized that I like to like to see, this this thing was, was trucking along, the sound of it was pretty amazing and it, uh, it was just really cool to see. You could see this was the storm that was coming in from the southeast headed to the northwest and it was uh, flashing lightning. You could see the rain starting to come down in spots. So we turned left from where the case machines were uh, so it would be heading east and in this field there was an old 7088 it looked like, couldn't really tell the number but it looked like an 88. That white truck was coming up to unload it and uh, this deer with a honeybee draper on the front of it was just cruising across it. I think it was a 9600 from what I could tell. Um, and he was just moving, dropping straw. The case was, was spreading straw. So I think there was a, um, some beef farms close that they were bailing on. Then we got over to this farm. And uh, this was, we could see it from probably 10 kilometers away, the dust that was flying. And the reason we could see it was there was four of these combines in there. They were CR 9.90s. And uh, they were running 40-foot Macdons. 
and this field was flat as a board. Um, they were having so much trouble every round. They were stopping and backing up, having to, to reverse everything back out, um, re-pull it back in, and then try and keep going. But they were struggling something fierce with this. So I'll let you uh, I'll let you watch this part. Um, the guys were flashing their lights at us. We got some spots where they were were dumping. I stayed down at this one end where these two were just because the dust was blowing the right way where I could get some good some good footage. But there were, as you can see, down the way there were uh, a couple other machines down there, and they were running a couple sets of uh, B trains trying to keep all these machines going. So, anyways, I'll let you uh, watch these ones here and and see how they go. And it was uh, it was pretty neat to watch these guys. The green buggy tractor was a um, big articulator. Uh, I think it was a T9 something, but I couldn't see the uh, the number on the side of the machine. It, uh, it only said New Holland. And then they had a big Brent uh, Avalanche green buggy. But uh, here at 1826, you'll see the lightning crack in the back end. That's the storm that was coming up from the southeast, and it was a big one. Um, so it was pretty neat to get some of that footage there to, to see the storm coming through. And it was so windy that the straw coming out of the chopper at the back was actually blowing opposite to the com or the same as the combine direction. So we finished up with the, the new Holland here. You can see there were other ones in the background. And the last one we got to was uh, these two 790s. I'm pretty sure that's what they were. Um, they were just trying to get back to the front of the field. You can see the rain coming in from the back and, and the buggy sitting in the middle. It was, uh, it was just a neat shot. So that'll be the end of part two. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching all that footage. Those uh, those New Hollands at the end were, were sure grinding it out, trying to get through that crop with it being so uh, different in height and being flat as a board. Um, they were unplugging on basically every round trip that they were making through that field. So uh, it, was, uh, it was a challenge and it was interesting to watch them try and get through it. So um, Part three will be of actually on the training day. Uh, we were running two class nine Fen ideals, um, doing weed over just southwest of where we were doing all this video here. Uh, we also did some stuff on gearing off heads and stuff. So I'll show you all that here on the next video. Um, as always, if there's any questions, comments, 
throw it down in the section below here so I can uh, try and answer them, help make these videos better. Um, that's all ultimately the goal here is to try and keep improving to get things so that it's uh, something that people want to watch. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And for that, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.